me show you what this thing is doing. This is not my rig. I would not own something this color. This thing makes, see who invented that? You gotta actually unlock the doors. Oops, I tore up the grass. This thing actually makes so much noise. So it's my buddy's truck and I got this idea. He's got this OME blood pressure 51 setup back here. Let's see if it's on the front. Oh yeah, EME blood pressure 51. So the blood pressure pump is hid over, oh there it is. You see it? And these adjust in several different ways. He told me this, uh, this whole kit costs about too much money. I don't know why you do that. But anyway, I got a feeling I know what to do. But after he sees dirt on it, he ain't gonna let me drive it anymore. All right, I got a buddy with a truck. And he's got this old man Nemo BP-51 lift kit on it. This particular kit was about five grand installed. The problem with it is, it is the loudest, most rickety sounding situation there is. And if you read any reviews or look up anything about Old Man Emu suspension, everybody complains about how loud it is. I have emailed Old Man Emu. I have emailed Old Man Winter and Sister Moon. And I got zero responses. So, the problem is these are unlubricatable or whoever put them in there or unlucratable you sound it out so the problem is whoever put them in there either did not lube them or something and the second problem is there's not a soul on earth that i've been able to talk to in any four-wheel drive shop that can give me a tip so i've got an idea but first you need to hear the wonderful sound it makes it's like 40 million times louder. Hold on a minute. When it's like 40 million times louder when you go in and out of somewhere. I've ridden in the back, I've climbed underneath it, I've put the camera on it for him. You can't find out anything. But anyway, listen. Stay right there. Isn't that awesome? new truck new suspension and it sounds older than old blue it sounds like an old rattle trap so anyway i've got a theory the theory is that whoever put these jokers on there did it on a lift and uh so the tires and the whole suspension was hanging down and then when they tightened it up on the lift, it tightened it up in place. So now when it comes down onto the ground and it's sitting on the ground, everything's in a bind. So I'm gonna simply loosen that, maybe that, and then simply re-tighten and see if the sound goes away. So I can do that one of two ways. Time lapse, yanks, so it's time warp, but we may do that anyway. So just hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, I cannot get this camera set up where to flip. There's my hand on it. I'm looking upside down and backwards. Still, what is the problem here? Hold on like you're loving it. Okay, there you go. That ain't working, I knocked your, I knocked your sunglasses off, but that's okay. So there we are, maybe you can see my hand. So I'm gonna loosen it. Simply listen, it is a 19 on this truck. I'm gonna loosen this one. And make sure it ain't turning. It's not turning on the other side. And then I'm gonna bounce it to hopefully free everything up. Let's see. Wait right there. Oh, 
Okay, no change. Can you see? There's my hand. I don't know if you can see anything. I'm struggling here. Well, is this your first day with a camera? Maybe, so maybe I need to loosen it a little more. Well, that's pretty doggone loose. So maybe I need to go to the other side. I won't force you to watch that. I'm gonna pause it. And the next thing I'm gonna do is spray it while it's um while I've got the pressure off of it with the uh you'll see what I spray it with. Play right there. We'll go to the other side. I'm going to spray it with PB blaster for silicone. Because I shook the daylights out of it. The truck and the can. And I have done this a million times and it has done nothing <clears throat> so let me do the other side I just uh, I just took the daylights out of it so now it's still crackling so now I'm leaving it loose and I'm gonna drive it just to fuzz wait right there camera's still here ha it is I didn't do a thing so now I'm gonna tighten it back up and see oops now I'm going to tighten it back up and see if this thing stays in place got this impressive snap-on massive half-inch deflatty and it's breaking on me I know what you're saying snap-on does free placement I ain't tough for that we'll torque on the specs later don't worry about that noise that's supposed to do that that's like a torque wrench This thing will rip your shoulders out of the joints if you uh, if you think you got a bite and you start pushing. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, I did. I got them tightened. Let's see if it's any better. Oh yeah, just a little clunk. I can't believe it worked. So there you have it, gentlemen and gentle ladies. So maybe that's a quick fix that'll work for you too. It's hot. It's about 94.7865 according to the wet bulb globe temperature, the wet globe bulb temperature wherever you live. Depends on if it's uh that way or backwards. So anyway, I can't believe it worked. Now I am gonna go and have them torqued. I don't own a torque wrench. I know they're not expensive, don't be hating. Thanks for watching my videos.